what do you, what should owners keep in mind about the, the outdoor, the landscaping and outdoor seating, if it's possible? Yeah, we don't have a lot of um, outdoor landscape, uh, but what we do have, um, if we don't take care of it, it tends to turn into uh, a weed garden, uh, which doesn't <laughs> look pretty. So we make sure that we put um, fresh bark dust there. Um, there's also uh, some areas beyond the parking lot where we make sure that there's gravel there. So it's not just like a big pile of dirt or something um, that was like an afterthought. Um, we unfortunately don't have space for outdoor um, seating, although we would definitely put it there if we did. Um, Oregon weather does like tend to be, especially in the summer and the winter, not necessarily a place that you would want to sit outdoors. Um, and for that, we kind of make up with the seating that we have indoors. Good point. Jamie, maybe Florida lends itself to a little bit more outdoor seating. <laughs> it does. Yeah, I've got uh, three benches outside um, my store right now. Um, and they definitely get used. Um, the side lot um, on the side of the building, I would really love to turn into like an outdoor patio. Um, I'm renting uh, and I so I don't own the building um, and uh, haven't been able to get the landlord to give me permission to like create a outdoor patio. Um, but it would be like the perfect area to, you know, add a few tables and chairs, um, umbrellas and, you know, make it something that's a really nice area for the community. So um, that was actually one of the things that caught my attention um, when I first started looking at the building and the property was like, hey, there's like this untapped space. So, um, you know, maybe the landlord will work with me at <laughs> some point on it um, because, creating those areas where customers can feel comfortable and, you know, and they're not like kind of on top of each other um, and they're able to enjoy, you know, nice weather. Um, I think it goes a long way.